When it comes to coloring line art images, there are many fun and beautiful choices. And you can combine coloring techniques to create vibrant cards. I'm going to show you how I color the beautiful new iris stamp from Teresa Momber's brand new set, Warm with Love, by using colored pencils and Gamsol and a water-based marker. Let me show you the tools and products you'll need to do this technique. First, you're going to need a nice line art stamp and look at this big beautiful iris stamp from the new Warm with Love stamp set. Then, you're going to need some good quality cardstock, and I'm using the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury 120 pound base weight in white. Then, you're going to need some colored pencils, and I'm going to use the Kohinoor Polycolor pencils. Love these pencils. I'm going to choose this nice vibrant purple, and that's all I'm going to need from that. But I'm going to need some Gamsol, and I have my Gamsol in this little glass pump. Now, I really like this pump because I'm one of these, you know, if it's not right in front of me, I don't use it. So the Gamsol sitting out on my desk in this pump makes it easy to keep the fumes out of the room, and uh, it prevents the pump, the Gamsol from evaporating because it has this lid. But when you're ready to use it, you just flip the lid up, you pump the pump a couple times, and as you can see, the Gamsol is filling up in this little cup up top. So that's how I store my Gamsol. Then you're going to need a blending stump, and I'm using the blending stumps that we carry at Gina K Designs, and a water-based marker. Now this one is Memento Cantaloupe, and that's going to create my yellow areas of my beautiful iris that I'm going to color for you. And you're going to need an ink pad. For this technique, I really like to use the Stazon ink. You can use Memento ink, but for some reason the Stazon ink seems to just be so crisp and it never ever bleeds at all when I'm doing the Gamsol technique. So, to begin, I'm going to start by stamping this iris image and wait until you see how beautiful this image stamps. You can do so much with this stamp. You don't even have to color it. You can emboss it in gold or in silver. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center here. A little bit of pressure, and look at that. Now, stays on ink dries very quickly, so I can start coloring almost immediately. I'm going to begin by using this Kohinoor purple pencil and creating a nice, deep, rich purple line around the perimeter of all the petals on this iris. And what you're going to notice with the Kohinoor pencils is that even the blues and the purples will give you beautiful, easy to manipulate color. Some pencils, their blues are a little bit tough and they don't seem to want to blend as well. But the Kohinoors just blend beautifully. Add a little bit of purple into that area and back here. Then I'm going to do the same thing with these leaves. Leave some white space in there. And then I'm going to blend that all together. And you'll see that in just a second. Now you do want to lay down a decent amount of color. But you also want to make sure that you leave lots of white space in there. Because that's how you're going to get that beautiful shading that everybody's doing today. And of course, colored pencils can be used all by themselves too. So if you don't have any Gamsol handy, colored pencils are a great coloring tool to throw in your bag and take to the local restaurant or play area with your kids. And while they're playing and jumping around having a great time, you can stamp up some line art images and color away. Okay, so now we've laid down all of that nice, rich purple color. And I'm going to start by 
really wetting the end of this blending stump with the gamsol. I want to make sure I have a decent amount of gamsol on that stump. And then using a circular motion, I'm going to start to dissolve the wax in the pencil with the gamsol working my way toward the white areas. And you can see it almost changes the color a little bit because it thins it out as it's moving the color toward the center. Now watch what I do here. I'm actually going to just leave a little bit of white in there, almost like a reflection of the light. See how that looks? I'm going to re-wet the stump again and get working on my next petal. And again, leaving a little bit of white space in there. And the next. And I want to hit those areas. Even though they're solid, I still want to run the Gamsol over them because it does change the color. As you can see, the color's becoming a little bit more, more of the pink in that purple is coming out. And for my final two petals, same thing, making sure that I leave white space. You really want to leave white space on these petals because you're going to add that yellow in there. And the same thing over here. You can see you don't really need to continue to saturate the blending stump. Once it's pretty saturated, it'll work for a long time. Okay, so now you can see I've left a nice little bit of white space. Now I'm going to pick up my, my cantaloupe memento marker. I'm just going to lightly add a little bit of yellow in there. Right on top of that white area. And I'm going to leave that alone so that just appears as though the light is hitting it. Isn't that pretty? Now I am going to use one more pencil. I'm going to use some green. I'm going to use this olive -y color green here. And I'm just going to quick run a little bit of pencil down the stems. Don't have to be real precise because you're just going to blend that color. And then using the other side of the blending stump so that I don't mix colors, I'm going to wet that with the Gamsol and blend those stems and leaves. And you can see Gonna leave a little white space down there. I'm gonna re-wet it one more time. And there is my finished flower, ready to be punched or die cut and added to my card. Now let me show you my finished card project. Here I've taken that flower and I've cut it out using one of the Nestability's classic circles dies and the lacy circles to accent it. And then I used one of the Nestability's borders here and I've added one of the greetings. Try different combinations including watercolor paints, pastel pencils, and alcohol inks to add texture, shading, and depth to your next coloring project.